Hey guys, so um, I'm finally recording my tutorial for how to um, felt loose wool into your dreads. I made one a while ago, but it didn't have any sound, so I'm making a new one so I can actually talk and explain how to do it. Um, I'm going to use the dread that I'm going to um, trim as an example, so it's kind of his funerary felting. And so I'm going to felt the end of this one and then in a few days cut it off so <laughs> um, so things you need you need a felting needle which let's see if you can see um, it's really sharp but it has these little barbs you can, yeah you can kinda see them um, but um, so the little like barbs like kinda latch on and help force the um, wool into the dread. So felting needle and um, you can buy these at like Hobby Lobby, a craft store, whatever. And it comes with, well it should, I don't know if they all do, but it comes with a little block. So you can, you put this on the other side of the dread and so you can stab into it. Okay, so other thing you need is loose wool roving. Um, I bought like a big pack of like bright colors. They don't look very bright on this camera, but they're just your um, you know, typical primary primary yellow, primary red, you know, normal colors. And then I also have like a more earthy kind of green. Oh, that's upside down. Um felt works. Um and like a turquoise, I guess. Or whatever color this is. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna do kind of a tie dye rainbow kind of thing. So, here it goes. What you do is you pull off um, whatever wool you wanna use. You know, you just pull a chunk off. I have some red and some yellow right here. And then I add some pink. Just pull a chunk out, you know. Okay. Now for this kind of I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of um, you know, fluff these up and kind of mix them together. And then you just, you know, get it however you want it. And then you put it. You put it on the dread, and I just like kind of wrap it around. Hopefully, you can see this. You know, you just arrange it however you think is best. Um, but just kind of loosely like that. You know, you're gonna add some more on there too and everything. But you just kind of get it on there, and then I just give it a little palm roll just to kind of get it kind of stuck on there so that I can felt it on. Um, better. But yeah. Um, make sure it's not too thick. Um, make sure you can kind of see through it. Um, because if you just like put really thick amounts on there, when you go to wash your dreads, they're going to take forever to dry. And it's just like a lot of just, uh, I don't know. It's, it's a pain in the ass when it's like really thick. So you place it on this block. And you want to make sure you know where your fingers are on the other side of the block because this is really sharp. Um, so you arrange it, and then you're just all you're gonna do is stab repeatedly into the dread. Okay, and you're gonna see it start um, locking in, and you're gonna you know turn the dread as you go, and make sure you're just getting it all in there. And you just keep. Stabbing. It's hard to do on camera, so. Um, but yeah, just. Okay, it's really simple. You just stab it in till it's like, you know, flush with your dread, and give it a palm roll. Once you wash it once, it'll be in there, you know. 
But, so, stab, stab, stab. And the crunching noise is the styrofoam block, not my hair breaking. <laughs> it does break your hair a little bit, but it's, it's not that bad. But yeah, so just stab, stab, stab. Turn it on its side. Make sure you get all the sides. Okay. That's all you gotta do. It's really easy. So I guess that's my tutorial. I'll finish this up and show you how it looks in a second. Okay, so this is what I have so far. And now I'm going to add some green and yellow and blue. So once again, you just fluff it up, you know, make sure it's all spread out and everything. And then you lay it on the dread. So I got it wrapped around there. Get a little palm roll. Okay. See. And then I'm gonna felt it in. So you place it on the block. Hold it. Watch for your fingers on the other side. Make sure they're out of the way. Okay. And then. Turn your dread. And see how it's less poofy where I felted it than up here where it's still loose. Okay, so you just keep doing that and it'll be beautiful. Add color to your dreads, it's fun. I had a lot of it, and I took a lot of it out because I had it for so long, you know. But, yeah, it's a great way to decorate your dreads and add some color. And it is removable, so I've proven that. So don't think, like, oh, I'm going to do this to my dreads and I'm never going to be able to take it out, you know. You can take it out. So, yep. I'll show you in a minute when I'm done what it looks like. Finished product. Okay, so there's my finished product. kind of fuzzy right now but once you wash it all that loose fuzzy will you know get all um locked into the dread and the excess will come off and everything but so that's what it looks like so hopefully that helped and maybe if you do some felting on your dreads make a video post it as a video response so I can see it because I mean I haven't besides the friend who taught me how to do this and like a couple people online, I haven't seen anyone with um, felting um, on their dreads. So it'd be really cool to see what you guys come up with if you do that. So post a video. Bye, you guys. It's my funerary felting. And then in a couple days, I'll make a video of me chopping it. Bye, you guys. I totally almost forgot um, to give a shout out to Ms. B Unique. Her last video she just made, she mentioned and showed a mannequin head. And I commented telling her that I have one too, which is kind of weird. But uh, this is my mannequin head. And um, yeah. Just holding my Renaissance um, headdress and my masquerade mask. But um, yeah. She's signed by some band members of a band that I used to like when I was, like, 16. Um, yeah, they played at my house for my 16th birthday, and they all signed my mannequin head. <laughs> but yeah, so that's it. <laughs>